grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers, and thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel today for my brief daily message of hope and inspiration. Uh, and I hope your day on this Sabbath day, this uh, Sunday, is off to a wonderful start. Uh, if not, maybe I can help you uh, with that because uh, I think I've got some really good news to share with you today. And the, the news is that God isn't finished with you yet. That's right. He's not finished with you. Uh, he still has work for you and me and all of us to do. And it's not the end of the age yet. He's still with us. He hasn't left us or forsaken us. And that means we still have work that can be useful to him in building up his kingdom here on earth. And if we don't do it, who is? Uh, as Jesse Jackson used to say, if not us, then who? If not now, then when? If not this, then what? It's us. We're the, the game plan that the Lord is using to build his kingdom on earth. And the good news is he's not finished with you yet. I heard a young man just a few days ago. He's probably in his early 30s. Uh, he lost his job. And not only did he lose his job after 10 years with the same company, but uh, he's basically lost his career because that business isn't coming back. And I heard him say, I feel like I've been orphaned. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel totally lost now. I don't know what to do if I can't do what I was trained to do. And the thought went through my mind and I, I was talking to him on social media and I said, God isn't finished with you yet. Ask him for help. I'm just thinking in my own life and I've shared a little bit of my story with him you know, I've been a priest for 32, going on 33 years now. I'm 68 years old. I've done so many things in my life that I wasn't trained to do. Um, I, the only thing I was really trained to do, other than being a priest, was being in the newspaper business. But in 1975, the newspaper I worked for, the Fort Worth Press, went out of business. I had to go back to school. I had to learn how to be a teacher, so I taught. Uh, and I, of course, continued working in the news business for a while, but I've done other things. Um, I've sold cars in my life. I've sold insurance. I've taught junior high kids in my life, and I love that, incidentally. Uh, we do what God calls us to do as he's preparing us for what he really wants us to do, which is to share the good news with others. In the gospel at Mass this morning, uh, Jesus is telling his apostles that he's leaving them. Uh, but he's not going to leave them as orphans. He said, I'm going to send you another counselor, even the Holy Spirit, who will lead you and guide you into all the truth. Uh, and that he is preparing a place for us and he's coming back to be with us. The Holy Spirit is always with us. And we know since our faith is in uh, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, not three gods, but one God, that whenever God is present, God is present. So Jesus was present with the apostles then. He was telling his apostles that he was going to leave them, but that he would send the Holy Spirit. So he would send God to be with them. Well, God is with you now too. He's not finished with you. I was praying, just uh, uh, playing and praying, uh, a wonderful old hymn from the middle of the 19th century called The Church's One Foundation is Jesus Christ, her Lord. And there's a verse in there that I want to share with you. Verse three struck me today. Um, I was playing this earlier today. And listen to these words. Though with a scornful wonder, men see her, the church, sore oppressed. By schisms rent asunder, by heresies distressed. Yet saints, their watch are keeping. Their cry goes up how long. And soon the night of weeping shall be the morn of song. We may be in a dark period now for many of us, Things are changing rapidly. Church is coming back into uh, meeting, uh, and we're figuring that out, out as we go along. And it's not been easy because of all the sanitization work we're having to do because we want to keep people safe, especially us <coughs> old priests who come in contact with lots of people. We have to be careful. But God isn't finished with us yet. There's still work to do. So wherever you are right now, let's see where you are there. Okay, right there, there. Oh, there you are, <laughs> wherever you are right now. God's right there with you, and he's not finished with you yet. He has work yet for you to do. It's his work, not ours. 
It's his plan that's in progress, not ours. Uh, and his plan is that we help and serve and love one another as he loved us. And we can do that wherever we are, whatever we're doing. Uh, that never gets old. It never gets tiring. We love one another as Christ loved us. And know that he's right there with you, loving you right now. I hope you have a blessed rest of this day today. And we'll see you next week. God bless you.